Do you know why we celebrate Halloween? Long, long time ago, it was a night of great power. When the days grew short, and the spirits of the dead returned to their homes to warm themselves by the fireside. All across the land, huge bonfires were lit, hoping to ward off the evil spirits, especially the boogeyman. For six years, the town of Haddonfield has tried to forget. They believed Michael Myers was dead. Michael Myers is long gone. There is no boogie man. But now he's come back, and the secret behind his murderous ways will be revealed. You can't have the baby, Michael. You can't have the baby. Michael Myers has come back to Haddonfield. To kill. From Dimension Films comes the return of pure evil. Halloween, the curse of Michael Myers. Uh, Tommy! Evil. Pure. Uncorrupted. Legend. Among the most successful series of horror films in history, Halloween has always kept its finger on the pulse of true fear and again brings terror to life. What I try to do with Halloween is go sort of go back to giving it a sense of style and giving the whole movie a sense of air of menace. It's just the way it's put together and it's all psychological and so to me it's a very scary thing. The late veteran actor Donald Pleasance returns for his last role as Dr. Loomis, the character he created for the Halloween series. He's in retirement living in a cottage way in the depths of the country. I hear little uh, Jamie crying for help. Help me, Dr. Loomis, are you out there? Michael. Michael Myers. And so I go out into the night in search of Michael Myers. <laughs> Fresh from the hit film Clueless, Paul Rudd is Tommy Doyle, a character with a special link to the Halloween legacy. My character, Tommy, uh, comes from the first film. And Jamie Lee Curtis was babysitting this little kid. Tommy. Tommy Doyle. Tommy Doyle. I was only eight years old when I saw him. And I was one of the lucky ones. I survived. In the role of Kara, Marianne Hagen must protect her young son from Michael's murderous instincts. Evil is lurking, and it is there, and sometimes you see it, and sometimes you don't, but it can get you. What makes you think he'll come back here? This house is shaken to him. He has all his memories here. His rage, it grew inside him. Contaminating his soul. John, something terrible has happened. He's come in the room. He's behind her. She doesn't see him. And he told me about the terrible things that happened here in our house. That whole scene gives me goosebumps. I mean, it's so scary. The of the Halloween series is based on the whole Michael Myers character, which is, you know, he is the boogeyman. You can't talk to him. You can't deal with him. He just wants to get you. Well, that killer in the mask, Michael Myers, is wreaking mayhem again as he's chased by his arch nemesis in the latest Halloween horror movie. But this installment marks a sad milestone because in real life, it proved to be the last hurrah for a true legend of the silver screen.
It's a very exciting story. It will give you shivers up your spine. It will terrify the life out of you. Since the first Halloween and three of its sequels, the late Donald Pleasant doggedly pursued the inventive, resilient, and thoroughly evil Michael Myers. Michael Myers has come back to Haddonfield to kill. Though the filmmakers didn't know it at the time, the sixth installment sadly marks the final heroics of Donald's intrepid character, Dr. Loomis. Dr. Loomis, the, uh, the bogey chaser, the man who has pursued Michael Myers through five films and shot him at least ten times with no success. I've come back to get him once again. What makes you think he'll come back here? His house is sacred to him. He has all his memories here. His rage! Rolling. Rolling. Mark? This time around, Pleasant teams up with Marianne Hagen, who was elated to be paired with the veteran actor. When I found out that I was doing this with Donald Pleasance, I was so blown away because he is a legend. There's no other word for him. And um, immediately felt, you know, I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy to wash your costume socks, let alone to act with, with you. But for Hagen and her co-stars, being chased or butchered by Myers wasn't as frightening as it's cracked up to be. That was a blast, actually, being chased by Michael Myers through the house. It was very fun. I had to act all, all scared and everything, but uh, inside I was giggling. Look out, there's someone in the room. He's right behind you. You're scared, <laughs> I can tell. You know, the people that are making the real killing on these movies are the producers. There have been yeah. six of these movies combined. They've cost less than 20 million. They have well, earned 200 million. Oh, man. <laughs> Halloween, the curse of Michael Myers is in theaters now. Okay, well, from the horrors of Halloween to a story that is truly out of this world, you won't believe.